like falling in love. I'm in the mood to fuck something up. Tonight I'm fucking something. I need some drink in my cup. Hey, I'm in the mood to fuck. Hey y'all. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Javon and I am a not so regular girl with a regular job, a regular house, a regular car, a regular life. Nothing fancy, but I'm just a regular girl. Um, we do lifestyle vlogs, fitness, fashion, beauty, DIY projects, hard to talk about subjects and everything in between. So if you're interested in any of that, you will be interested in this. So don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And in today's video, I will be showing y'all how I achieve these bantu knots that I have in my head right now. So if you are interested, keep watching. Okay, so for this style, I am starting off with freshly washed hair. I just washed my hair and um, blow dried it for a little while. I put some heat protect on it just because, um, you know, to try to keep it from whatever heat damage it might cause. Or to try to keep the heat damage as minimal as possible. So... Um, and also, y'all, yeah, I'm filming the TikTok, so if I'm looking this way, it's because my other, my camera, my phone is this way, so. Alright. Let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is part, part the hair in sections. So we parted it into like thirds. I'm gonna put uh, the first one. Here we go. Oh, excuse the stand drip gel. I have really, really bad dandruff and I hate it. I said I'm gonna go to the dermatologist, but of course I just never went. I need to go and take care of that. This ruins my life sometimes. Sometimes I can't keep styles in as long as I would like to just because. Um, of the cornflakes that pops up in my head. So, I'm gonna try to get this as straight as possible. It ain't gonna be super straight, y'all, because I ain't no professional, you know? And sometimes I like, like, some styles, I don't want my parts to be, like, super, shoe, super straight. It's kind of like when I get braids. When I get braids, sometimes I like the braids. Or not really braids so much, but, like, um, the little full lock thing. Sometimes when I get those, I'd rather them be, I like them better when they get older. If that makes any sense. All right, so we've got this part going on. I'm gonna straighten that up a little bit. All right, so I got this part kind of straight, as straight as I need it to be. So I'm gonna go ahead and pin this up. That's the first section. I'm sectioning them into three. And then I'll section them into smaller sections. So we're gonna part this back part in half. And all of them won't be the same size. Some of them will be bigger than the others. Cause they siblings y'all, they cousins. Okay. will be the third part so it's three parts is this one two and then one in the back so we're gonna just clip this up all of the three sections and then we're gonna start making the smaller parts in front So we're gonna put the front into um, five. So this is gonna be the first one. And it's supposed to be, they're gonna be like little triangles, I guess you could say. Use a little to get the parts straight.
we're gonna take these out use the same rubber bands to um, make the little ponytails. So now I'm gonna take this uh, edge booster, uh, it's edge control, like a gel, to straighten the parts up and to make the ponytails look neat. So I'm gonna make them kind of tight, but not too tight, because I do want them to um, have the like neat look to them. So, just that. And then I'm gonna just fix it up a little bit with this edge brush. Put a little bit of the edge control on the actual braid at the bottom just so it can like stick so the ends won't be bushing out. So this is the first section done and we have five little triangles so I'm gonna do the second section and then I'm gonna show you how I part it and then I'm gonna go ahead on and do it off camera just because it's the same process putting it in rubber bands and braiding it and it can be kind of boring so all right so the second section will have uh, three triangles and the way we'll do that is we'll start in the middle and just part um, outward and then we're gonna do the same thing here. That is your three sections, one, two, three. So I'm gonna go ahead on and put those in rubber bands and braid them off camera and I'll be right back. Okay y'all, so now that my hair is all twisted up, I have 10 um, parts 
twists and braids, a twist or whatever you want to call them. So this is the hair I will be using. Um, and this is Expressions in color 1B, 42 inches. I probably could have got something a little shorter because my hair is um, already kind of full. So I don't want it to be too big, but I'm going to go ahead and use this. And it's three bundles. I'm going to divide each bundle into um, into four. So each one will make four. That's 40, 12. I only have 10, so I'll have some hair left over. Okay, so now that my hair is all separated, I'm going to start with the top braid. I'm going to take this and I'm going to just braid it on to my hair. I'm going to start it off like a braid and then I'm going to take it and I'm going to twist it. You have to be sure to not twist it too tight because they will get tight. Yeah, I ain't trying to have all my edges and things pulled out, you know what I mean? So when you get towards the end, you want to tuck that under. And again, it don't have to be perfect because they are band too not. So I personally think they look better. When they're not like super uniform. So, we got a little unicorn bun at the top. Alright, so now I'm gonna do another one just to show. Again, I started braiding it with the third piece being my real hair. And I did that like maybe four or five times. And then I start twisting. Real simple. Again, you just have to make sure you're not twisting it too hard because it will get um, super tight as you wrap. And I really don't like tight hairstyles because I like, it's, it's already like an uncomfortable hairstyle to sleep in because it's like not sticking up out of your head. So you don't want it to be too tight to where it's definitely uncomfortable. I like being cute and all. I like I like my sleep. I like to sleep. And if a hairstyle is taking away my peace, I don't need it. So far we have two and I'm gonna do a few more. I might just speed it up, but I think y'all get it. Um I'm gonna do I might do a few more and then I'll just do the other ones off camera because it's pretty much the same process. Just taking this hair, you're grabbing your braid, your real hair, and you are just doing a three strand braid. Like I said, you can do it like maybe four or five times, just wherever you feel comfortable because you want it to, um, you want the fake hair to be secure. So if you want to do it a few more times, that's fine. And then after that, you just start twisting. Twist it. And also make sure your rubber band's not too tight because that can make it too tight too because this twisting, when you're twisting it, it, it can get real tight. And like I said, you don't wanna, well, I know I don't want an uncomfortable hairstyle. So, and all of these extra little strings that y'all see popping out, you're just gonna cut those off in the end. But you wanna make sure the ends of the hair is, um well wrapped and tucked underneath the knot. So we just twist it some more. And this one is getting tight, so I'm gonna loosen it up a little bit. Cause you can just need the edges. I ain't trying to lose my edges. You're gonna 
tuck that under. Make sure the end is tucked under because that's gonna keep the knot secure and uh, help it to not come loose. That's the third one. Um, protective hairstyle and especially for those women that may work out you sweat a lot or just don't have time to do your hair this is really quick like I said it's protective um it's not tight at all it's real comfortable the only thing you may have problems with is sleeping because you do have like a bunch of knots in your head but other than that I like it and this is it if you have any questions just leave them in the comments down below and I'll answer your questions I hope y'all enjoyed this video come back and see me in the next one